came away with this giant bag of stuff. And it's time for me to unpack this accidental mystery bag. Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Cass. I am an avid thrifter and part-time reseller based in Australia. Last week I had about an hour at my local salvos to look for some new inventory and I came away with this giant bag of stuff. Um, generally I like to hang up my haul straight away when I get home. It makes things so much easier when it comes to preparing items for photos. I can see how much new stock I have and it means they're not picking up new wrinkles that I then have to steam out. Um, but unfortunately for the past week my office has been in a bit of a state and my rack for new um, stock has been chockers. So there was just no room when I got home uh, to kind of hang this stuff up and get it ready. And that meant it just got abandoned to the chaos and I haven't really given it much thought since I brought it home. This weekend, I took some time, I got on top of my new stock and the clutter that has been messing up my office. Um, and it's time for me to unpack this accidental mystery bag. So I have my mystery bag set up here in front of me. I'm gonna dive straight in. I can see a couple of things in here. I'm kind of remembering one or two items. Um, so let's have a look and see what's in here. The first thing I can see um, is the receipt. So I can see here I spent $94 and I've got, what's that? One, two, three, 12 items in this bag. Now I do know that there are two items that are not in here. They are two items that I bought for myself. Um, they are these really nice um, cut glass cocktail glasses. I picked these up for $4 each. I quite often thrift um, glassware. My partner and I do enjoy um, the cocktail from uh, time to time. So really, really nice to have some nice glasses in our collection. On top, I've also got a new uh, Salvos card. So last week I did have a full card. I had 50% off um, with this haul. I really, really love using the loyalty programs that different op shops offer. Really helps me as a seller to drive down my average cost of goods and to um, pick up some more expensive items here and there as well. So item number one on top of the bag, what is this? Oh, this is David Lawrence. Okay, so we've got a dress, um, has a belt. Tie that, uh, loosen that off, sorry, there and show you kind of what we're working with. So this is sort of like a little sheath style dress with a belt. We've got pockets, yep, pockets, tissue in the pocket, that's gross, get rid of that. Um, and I paid well, the tag price, I would have paid less, was $6.50 on this one. Not bad for David Lawrence. Um, I do really enjoy um, picking this up. And this is uh, a 16. It did seem like a bit, a bit of a more generous size. But that'll do well, I think. Um, particularly, this feels like a natural fibre, 100% linen. Perfect, perfect in time for spring and summer. So I, I definitely was onto a winner, I think, with that one when I picked it up. But yeah, definitely... No regret on that one. I'd pick that up again for sure. The next one, this is one of the items that I do remember. I know I paid probably more than I normally would for something like this. Um, this is new with tags. It is a chic, loosen that off again, sleeveless jacket. The style name is on this one. The Calypso jacket in watermelon and the RRP it was $139.95. It's a size 12. Um, so I paid, yeah, I paid $44 for this. This is their white tag, which is the boutique stock. So they are often priced higher than just the regular items that you're going to find in Salvos. And look, probably a little bit of a crazy price to pay for something like this. But in the context of having a full loyalty card and discounted um, items in this bag, I'd say that's why I justified it to myself. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I do love Chic as well. It's a good seller for me. Um, and this being a sleeveless jacket, I think coming into spring um, and sort of coming out of the cold weather, but still having some cooler days in this colour as well, absolutely stunning. I think I can make some money on that still. When I look at it as an average cost, considering I paid $94, so less what I paid for the glasses and looking at having 10 items, 
it'd be around eight dollars on average so definitely profit to be made uh, on that one but yeah tell me what you think would you have picked that up for that price if you had 50% off everything else um, they don't discount the white stock at this office unfortunately um, we've got something black next oh oh yeah I do remember this this is where are we this is Sasha Drake and it's size 14 and the tag on this one was six dollars I think that is super reasonable um, for Sasha Drake I've actually just sold um, a dress in this fabric in a slightly different style and I love to pick these up uh, when I see them for a good cost so it's a nice stretchy style um, sheath dress Sasha Drake is an Australian designer very similar if you're familiar to Leona uh, Edmiston and their styles but sort of less of the overly colorful um, fabrics and prints so yeah definitely money in that one I think I generally tend to sell these between 40 and 60 dollars plus post depending on the size the style the season um, so yeah still no regret um, so far still a few items to go in the bag um, what else what is that oh oh okay yep 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 this is wrinkly this is why I hang things up when I get home um, this is new with tags princess highway size 12 yeah 12 little top um, originally this was $48 it's the Emma top in coffee toffee toffee um, and again this is a, uh, one of their boutique so white tags it was $14 again probably probably a little much to normally be paying for something this basic princess highway is a constant seller for me like I I find they move quickly you know they're generally very very nice styles lots of different um, patterns colors natural fibers so that'll be why I've picked this up I'd say because I do love a princess highway find at $14 for a basic style like this so probably a little bit insane and not something that I would have grabbed had I not had the full loyalty card what is next oh this looks like it's the last oh yeah I know what this is this is the last of the um, the clothing. This is Zimmer, uh, Zimmerman. So um, designer find score in the bottom of a bag that's been sitting in my office for a week. I'd completely forgotten that I picked this up. I have never ever found a Zimmerman in that op shop before and definitely not for a tag price of $5.50. Now this style, like it's not gonna be a bestseller it's not one of the super sought after gorgeous floral styles they have the material I think originally I thought this was silk but feeling this now it feels a little bit it doesn't it doesn't quite have the right texture to be silk let's see if there's a tag actually oh there's a spare button that's good actually I do remember this one I was missing a couple buttons um, no, 100% rayon. That's still not bad. That's still a nice, breathable, lightweight fabric. Um, obviously, this is an older style, I would say. The colours, it's, you know, more of a neutral style than the really um, popular sellers for Zimmerman, but it's still got that name brand recognition. Uh, and yeah, it's definitely, it's missing a couple of buttons. So I will have a look. I'll see which of the buttons is most visible when this is all kind of done up and I'll use that button off the tag to replace whichever is the most visible and then I'll just find a black button um, and attach that at the top just to make sure that they're all accounted for and I'll call that out in the description. So with this one, um, with the style and everything, I'd probably aim around 50 bucks for this one I'm not going to price this kind of at the higher end that you would expect for Zimmerman, Zimmerman. I think that would be just far too unrealistic um, very lofty goal but there's definitely still money to be made here so looking at the bag now we are definitely all of the way through clothing I can see there's a few pairs of shoes in here and I think that might be kind of all of what I grabbed so let me find a matching pair Oh yeah, these are good. Um, these, what are we, like kind of loafers? 
oh, they're a little bit leather's kind of um, unfolded there but that's okay that's no big deal mbd um, but these are like a croc leather and suede and they are joe mercer oh here we go the tag still on them uh size 42 uh all leather upper and lining and i or oh, these were marked at nine dollars i would have uh paid a uh, half price for those with my loyalty card um really great style nice like silver detail on the heel here um, and Joe Mercer is a brand that I love to pick up when they're in good condition. Um, they're, you know, quite, quite nice styles, good for work and quite uh, sought after good sellers. I do remember, I think I remember these. I think these were fairly inexpensive. Yep, $3. Just a little pair of Avaka's sandals. These are all leather with a rubber foam sole um, in nice bright red color um, they are size 39 so decent decent size to have in store uh, and coming into again you know spring summer warmer months i do tend to pick up these style of sandals when i see them uh, they are quite popular quite good sellers and i think we're down to like the last two pairs of so the bags looking pretty empty oh yeah i uh, can see here we've got django and juliet um so they're nice again floral sort of more summery style in a sandal. They've got some nice laser cut detailing on there and just a little block heel. Um, these are, what are you? Size 41. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that there. It's um, embossed in the sole and uh, they were marked at $8. Not a bad little pickup for $8. Lucky, lucky last, so what are these? Oh, Diana Ferrari Super Soft. Oh, and they were a good price too. Uh, $5. Size is 7.5C. So I tend to start picking up shoes at around a size 7.5. Um, that's kind of the average foot size, I believe, for Australia, for women. Um, and they're, again, just a nice little work style. They've got some patent leather, some snake print going on, and just a nice little peep toe. These look like they've probably being tried on, maybe worn once. Oh, there's a bit, a little bit of scuffing on the sole, but they're in really good condition, particularly for patent leather. Sometimes you find, I know it's gross, you get that little bit of like sweat build up. You can see the toe imprint, but these have none of that. So yeah, I think they're a fantastic little buy. So there it is, my accidental uh, mystery bag thrift haul. There are definitely a couple of items in here that I'd only pick up when, like in this instance, I have a full discount uh, loyalty card to use. Um, definitely the Princess Highway top and the chic jacket, you know, um, I would think twice about if I was paying um, full, full price across the total uh, haul. That being said, there's still definitely a lot of profit um, in what I did pick up. And I don't think I have any real buyer's remorse around any of these items. I think they'll all um, sort of fit in with the type of items that I like to bring in my store. There's a range of, um, you know, colors, sizes, um, particularly in the shoes that I think there's some really great picks um, in those shoes. I just need to get to work taking, taking photos um, and getting these up online. Uh, if you have loved this video though, and you like seeing what people are picking up to sell online in Australia, um, then please stick around and check out the video that I've linked for you here.